In this video, we'll talk about the spectral theorem for symmetric matrices, and then we'll talk about spectral decomposition. So first of all, the spectrum of a matrix A is just a set of eigenvalues of A. So as a quick example, let's revisit some of the matrices from our previous videos. So for example, let A be the matrix 1, 5, negative 2, 5, 4, 5, negative 2, 5, 1. We saw that the spectrum of A is the set 9, negative 6, 3. Those are the eigenvalues for A. In our previous video, we looked at the matrix 1, negative 2, 4, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 4, negative 2, 1. We saw that the eigenvalues for this matrix were 6 and negative 3. So we would say that the spectrum for this matrix is the set 6 and negative 3. So the spectral theorem for symmetric matrices is a series of statements about the eigenvalues of symmetric matrices. Now, we won't be going over the proof of this theorem in this video, but the spectral theorem states the following. An n by n symmetric matrix A has the following properties. First, A has n real eigenvalues, counting multiplicities. B, the dimension of the eigenspace for any eigenvalue lambda is equal to the multiplicity of that lambda as a root of the characteristic equation. C, eigenspaces are mutually orthogonal and D, A is orthogonally diagonalizable. So some of these properties we've seen already. For example, C is something that we've proved in a previous video. Parts B and D follow from the theorem in our last video. So now let's talk about spectral decomposition. Let A be a symmetric matrix. With orthonormal diagonalization, A equals PDP inverse, where P is the matrix with columns U1 through UN. Now, what I can do is write A equals P, D, P transpose, because when P has orthonormal columns, its inverse is P transpose. So, P is the matrix U1 through UN. D is the diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues lambda 1 through lambda n. And then P transpose would have rows U1 transpose through UN transpose. Now multiplying the first two matrices together, we get that this is lambda 1 times U1 through lambda n times UN times P transpose is U1 transpose through UN transpose. Now, using the column row rule for matrix multiplication, we can write this product as lambda 1 U1 times U1 transpose summed up through lambda N UN times UN transpose. This is what we call the spectral decomposition of A. So A written in the form lambda 1 times U1 times U1 transpose summed up through lambda n, un, un transpose, is called the spectral decomposition of A because it decomposes A into pieces determined by its eigenvalues. The matrix ui times ui transpose is called a projection matrix. Now, if I take any x in Rn and I multiply it by ui, ui transpose, I get ui, ui transpose times x is equal to ui times ui dot x. Now ui dot x is just a scalar so I can move it out in front so I have ui dot x times ui. Since ui is a vector with length 1 this here is just a projection of x onto ui. So that's why matrices of the form ui ui transpose are called projection matrices. Now let's look at some examples of finding the spectral decomposition for some symmetric matrices. Let's consider this matrix A with entries 1, 5, negative 2, 5, 4, 5, negative 2, 5, 1. In a previous video, we found that this matrix can be diagonalized with matrix D equals 9, 0, 0, 
0, negative 6, 0, 0, 0, 3, and p is 1 over root 6, 2 over root 6, 1 over root 6, 1 over root 3, negative 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, negative 1 over root 2, 0, 1 over root 2. In particular, this is an orthonormal diagonalization for A. So if we want the spectral decomposition for A, we would write A equals lambda 1 u1 u1 transpose. So our first eigenvalue is 9. I'll have 9 times the first eigenvector. That's going to be 1 over root 6, 2 over root 6, 1 over root 6 times its transpose, 1 over root 6, 2 over root 6, 1 over root 6. Then add this to the second eigenvalue, that's negative 6, times the second eigenvector, 1 over root 3, negative 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, times its transpose, 1 over root 3, negative 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3. And then lastly, I have plus 3 times the last eigenvector, negative 1 over root 2, 0, 1 over root 2, times its transpose, negative 1 over root 2, 0, 1 over root 2. Multiplying this out, we have 9 times the 3 by 3 matrix, where the top left entry is 1 over root 6 times 1 over root 6, so that's just 1 6. The top middle entry is 1 over root 6 times 2 over root 6, so that's 2 6. Then the third entry is 1 over root 6 times 1 over root 6, which is 1 6. In the middle row, we have 2 over root 6 times 1 over root 6, which gives me 2 6. Then 2 over root 6 times 2 over root 6 gives me 4 6. Then 2 over root 6 times 1 over root 6, I get 2 6. And in the bottom row, I get 1 6, 2 6, and 1 6. Then I have minus 6 times the matrix. 1 third, negative 1 third, 1 third. Then I have negative 1 third, positive 1 third, negative 1 third. And then 1 third, negative 1 third, positive 1 third. Lastly, we have plus 3 times the matrix. 1 half, 0, negative 1 half, 0, 0, 0 and then negative one-half, zero, one-half. So that's the spectral decomposition for A. Let's look at one more example. So here we have the matrix with entries 1, negative 2, 4, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 4, negative 2, 1. Again, we found an orthonormal diagonalization for A in a previous video with matrix D as 6, 0, 0, 0, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, negative 3, and the matrix P has columns 2 thirds, negative 1 thirds, 2 thirds, 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5, 0, and negative 4 over root 45, 2 over root 45, 5 over root 45. So the spectral decomposition for A would be A equals the first eigenvalue, which is 6 times the first eigenvector, that's 2 thirds, negative 1 thirds, 2 thirds, times its transpose, 2 thirds, negative 1 thirds, 2 thirds. Then we have the second eigenvalue, minus 3 times the eigenvector 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5, 0, times its transpose, 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5, 0. Then we have the duplicate eigenvalue, negative 3, so we put that here again. So minus 3 times the third eigenvector, negative 4 over root 45, 2 over root 45, and 5 over root 45, times its transpose. Negative 4 over root 45, 2 over root 45, and 5 over root 45. Multiplying things out, we get that A is... 6 times the matrix, 4 ninths, negative 2 ninths, 4 ninths, negative 2 ninths, 1 ninth, negative 2 ninths, 4 ninths, negative 2 ninths, and 4 ninths, minus 3 times the matrix, 
one fifth, two fifths, zero, two fifth, four fifth, zero, 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 zero. And then lastly, I have minus three times the matrix, 16 over 45, negative eight over 45, negative 20 over 45, then we have negative 8 over 45, 4 over 45, and 10 over 45. And lastly, negative 20 over 45, 10 over 45, and 25 over 45. And that's the spectral decomposition for this matrix. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll talk about quadratic forms. And eventually, we'll lead up to singular value decomposition.